Good day to everyone. Today I would like to share how to take maths and accounts class in Google Meet. Most of the people they want to take interactive online class using whiteboard. So in this video, I am going to show how to create an interactive class using Google Meet. Before that, kindly subscribe Howex channel and click the bell icon. You can get the notification and updated video. Just log in your Gmail account. You will find left hand side corner Google Apps. Scroll down, you will find Jamboard. This is called for a Google Jamboard. Now I would like to create a Google Meet link and share to Jamboard option. Let's click the new tab and Google Meet. Yes, hit the button. So new meeting, start instant meeting. Just hit the button. Yes, so click join now. So this is a Google Meet option. Now I would like to share the screen to Jamboard to show my students interactive Max or accounts classes how to take in the whiteboard option. Just hit present now screen and select a Chrome tab. Just hit the button and it will ask you meet email or Jamboard. Just hit the button Jamboard and click share. So your Jamboard screen will be shared here yes so you are presenting to everyone will view just hit the button so sharing this tab to meet google.com so meet has the sharing option of google jamboard now i would like to show how to do the jamboard option you will find here the google jamboard search option and your mail id is added here and google apps in here you will find your left hand side corner plus icon new jam just hit the button so this is a new jam board you can able to give the file name so untitled make it like max so just hit the button ok so this is a whiteboard of the a jam board is providing whiteboard you can able to scribble whatever you want you can make a uh, mathematical accounts problems you can solve and you can give a lot of information to the students in your left hand side you will find the pen and eraser select tool and sticky notes and image and laser tool everything will be available now I'm going to show how to use pen tool just hit the button pen you will find a marker and highlighter and brush options is here just I want to select pen if you want to choose the color you can choose the color according to your needs yeah just draw automatically using the mouse you can draw and you can able to find so two into three or six is the answer so kind of this thing you can able to work out seven into two so 14 so similarly you can ask your students to make your uh, a note if you want to erase just hit the button erase option you can erase so whatever you want you don't want you can erase and you can uh, show to your students and accounts also you can able to work out in this you can have selection option and sticky notes just hit the button sticky notes and you can find so max info just click OK so automatically your sticky notes will be added here you can keep it here so you can ask the students to take the notes so this is a easy and similar steps you can make so this is an easy step you can show your whiteboard you can show your information to your students so in this you will have image option also if you want to clear the frames you can clear the frames using clearing option automatically everything will be cleared here using eraser you can erase individually or you can able to clear the frames click insert image and you can insert whatever image you want and you can show the examples I just want to select some images so it's uploading yeah so my images is added here you can increase the size of the image and you can uh, use 
a marker pin and you can able to select so this is the calculator and this is the scale options everything basically you can give you can choose the color according to your informations and you can give the mathematical name of this products so you can show according to your students needs you can able to show so this is the easiest way you can able to give your students give your bright information about the mathematical and accounts information so in last we'll have a laser option using the laser option you can highlight the information so that so you can able to highlight and you can show yes so automatically it will erase so once you highlight automatically it will show so this is a laser option and one more thing you will have i just want to create two into two two into four yes now i want to add one more thing just hit the button background automatically you can able to change the background options like uh, stripe lines or dots you want whatever you want you can able to work out using the um, uh, background so if you want to take a black background call for a blackboard just hit the button automatically blackboard will be applied here so you can able to show to your students everything will be added in the google meet so that students can able to see whatever uh, work you are doing so if you want to add more of uh, a jam board, so just hit the button here create frames new frames so you can able to work out so accounts problems everything you can able to write up using the mouse options you can able to work out for the easiest to be in this jam board you can share the jam board the frames you can share with the student so students also they can able to access your board in online classes just hit the button share option you will find share with the people group and get a link just to copy the link and go to google meet and just go to chat box you can paste the link so that using this link the students can able to click the link automatically they can able to work out in your in your jamboard option imagine i'm going to share with my students so imagine this is a, a student's view so here i'm going to this is my uh, teacher's uh, screen so he's sharing some google uh, uh, jamboard for the uh, whiteboard option he is making some other corrections so now i want to imp give my inputs the students input i want to give the chat option he has sent some link just hit this is a student's view so it will automatically redirect a request access just to click access option so your access will be sent to your teacher so that they can, they can able to give the access so the max access is given just hit open sharing yes so you can give editor and viewer just send so the teacher can give the access one person is added here reimagine so this is a student's perspective so students also can able to give their inputs in google jamboard for example this is a student's view just hit the button so they can able to give their inputs using the jamboard option three into So they can give the inputs so this is a student's view so this is a student's view and this is staff view automatically whatever updated student updated in staff can also able to view so this is an easy way you can able to share your screen students also give the information inputs so accounts and max they can able to take the class peacefully once you complete your class, you can take a PDF of your frames. In the three dots, you can able to click download as a PDF. So the max class, you want to take this board as a PDF. You can able to click download automatically. Your frames will be downloaded as a PDF format so that you can able to refer and you can share with your students as well. So this is the easiest step you can make your interactive online class using Google Meet and using Google Jamboard you can able to work out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.